they are military retired or part of a family that was military or you had good friends who were in the military so you kind of know what it was like when a, a soldier gets the order that he has to leave maybe for not just another state but for another country it's really hard just ask some of the children of soldiers and they'll tell you that there are just literally big blocks of time when there's no memory of my mother or my father because they weren't there well, it happened to the Wright family, only this time, when the children grew up and became adults, they decided to embark on a project to remember their parents' love story. They made an awesome film about it. Joining me by Zoom this afternoon is one of the siblings behind the film project, Jackie Wright. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, Dee, it is just an honor to be here and uh, to be able to talk about a story that impacts so many people's lives, uh, yes. especially uh, near Fort Benning mm -hmm. and uh, in Columbus. You're in California yes. now, but you grew up so, here. I'm, 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 I'm going to throw this in. Uh, some of you may be saying, ah, I think I know her. She actually worked here. <laughs> Years ago, we worked together here at Channel 9, and I remember you talking about this, and you made it uh, come true. Now, your father left four children and the wife behind. He went to yes. Vietnam to help rescue South Vietnam from the North Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yes. Uh, when your siblings would talk about them, I know there were four of them. One of them was a baby. Was the baby you? Um, no, I'm the oldest. As so, a so you of fact. remember so your father then? What do you, I remember. What do you exactly. remember? Exactly, I remember about my him. father. Um, my youngest uh, sibling, Phyllis, uh, unfortunately was not able to um, ever have my father even touch her because two weeks before he was supposed to return, uh, he died. And she was born. Uh, a few months before his return mm. uh, in September of 1963 and he died March 9th of uh, 1964 and he was uh, basically uh, unfortunately um, uh, killed along with a 21 year old young man as well. Mm -hmm. um, did we get lost there for a moment? No, we're still here. It must be something. Uh, we're looking good, yes, yeah, so something might be happening with the technology, but you and I are still good. We have a picture okay. of your parents. Your mother was absolutely beautiful. Your father, very handsome. And there's the picture. It really makes it even more tender because you wish these two had had the rest of their lives together. Now, let's get into the story. You found yes. out that your father had been buried in a cemetery and that cemetery was a segregated cemetery and it was absolutely a mess and the right children didn't like that stuff huh it, exactly when we found out about it it was like wait a minute our father sacrificed his entire life and he shouldn't be in a segregated uh, cemetery so we decided to have him exhumed uh, and moved to Arlington National Cemetery and found out at the same time that we were able to, to uh, bury our mother mm -hmm. who had died six years after he did. And um, it's really interesting. They both died on the same day, March, March 9th. March 9th, I saw he that. He died on March, March 9th, 1964, and she died March 9th, 1970, when I was uh, a junior at Baker High School. And of now, course, Baker is very important to you know. I don't to know my how, family well, and uh, definitely. I don't know how long it's been since you've come back, but Baker is gone, girl. <laughs> it, it is gone. But I went to Baker also. Let's back up a little bit because you mm -hmm. find out your father's grave is in this dilapidated, segregated, Negro, Black, African American, colored, whatever we were at the time, and um, mm -hmm. it, uh, there, and how did you what did you have to go through to have him exhumed that must have been tremendous well, we paperwork went through, why uh, was the he process, there uh you know first of all you know it was at the time in the 60s it was a beautiful uh place and okay. it was one of the better 
cemeteries in Jacksonville, Florida, but over time it deteriorated. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't know, and we happened to go to a, a family reunion and we saw it and it was like, oh God, we got to get daddy out of here, mm -hmm. uh, was our response. And so we, we immediately started writing uh, the senators. We even wrote the president asking everyone um, basically what we, we could possibly do. Mm -hmm. And it was just, um, I'm so sorry. Uh, it was one of those things that we really didn't have any control over or anything like that. So we just gathered our money together and we oh. uh, basically had them exhumed. It, it took some research time though. Wow. What to okay. do. Well, we're going to be back in just a minute because there's so much more to this story. Uh, her father, uh, she said he served honorably. He did not serve as a black man. He served as an American, and she wanted him buried properly. The story of the Wright family, and I know this story rings true with so many people watching now. I didn't know my daddy, but he was a soldier, and he died overseas. We'll be back.